Well, 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 what have we here? Who the heck? Who's this guy? Hey, dude, you know that three is a crowd, right? This is a private party. Kel? Hey, guys and gals, welcome back to Stardew Valley. It's Wednesday the 3rd of spring, 6 o'clock in the morning, and Punchwood's just hiding in his bed right now. Come on, get out of there. I know you're nervous today. He's super nervous because he's going to give Leah this mermaid's pendant and propose to her. That's how you propose in Stardew Valley. You give the pendant to someone that you want to marry, and hopefully they say yes. And that's why Punchwood doesn't want to get out of bed right now, because he's worried she's going to say no. Listen, Punchwood, if she says no, then you still have Penny, Abigail, and Haley to choose from. Plans B, C, and D. See, there you go. It's not so bad after all. <laughs> oh, that's rotten. That is rotten. But Leah has ten hearts. She's going to say yes, most likely. She likes Punchwood. Punchwood likes her. And uh, they will get married and live happily ever after here in Stardew Valley. Looks like tomorrow's going to be cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. And the fortune teller says, Oh, the spirits are in good humor today. We think you'll have a little extra luck. Oh, good. See? You're going to get a little extra luck today. You're going to need it. <laughs> just kidding. You'll be fine. So we're going to give her the wild horse radish just before proposing. Because on the first date, Punchwood's first date with her, he gave her a wild horse radish and said, You look radishing! And she was all aglow. That was adorable. And we're going to do that for old time's sake. Right, Punchwood? And we have mail here from Robin the Carpenter. Hey there, I had some extra wood lying around. I thought maybe you could use it. Take care. 50 wood from Robin. Well, that's ironic because it's usually the other way around. Punch was usually giving her the wood. But it's nice to reciprocate, right? All right, let me get organized and then we're going to get rolling. We're going to head down south and try to find uh, Leah. And I'm also going to give Shane a red hot pepper. He loves red hot peppers. And we're not proposing to Shane, but we're going to give him the hot pepper because uh, we're trying to get him to eight hearts and then learn the secret of the blue chicken. Right? Oh, do not throw that horseradish away. We want to save that and especially don't throw that pendant in there. That was $5,000. That would be a disaster if we toss that in the trash. Plums go in here. Oh, we got cherries. Yeah, let's go down here and get the cherries and the cherry tree. Oh, two cherries this time? And look at this place. It's a disaster. Punchwood, you got to clean up before Leah comes around. We don't want her to think you're a slob. He's kind of a slob though, isn't he? <laughs> Catch! Two cherries from the cherry tree. Fantastic. All right, let's go put these away. Oh, hi, Wilson. Yeah, be right up there, buddy. Hold on. All right, let's go say hi to Wilson. Hi, good morning, buddy. Guess what? Punchwood's gonna get married. Well, he's gonna propose today, and maybe we'll have a new, uh, we'll have a new face around here. He'll love that. He'll love that. He's getting tired of Punchwood. All right, let's go let the chickens out and feed them. And this, by the way, could be the very last time. I'll be feeding these guys. Sorry, but this could be the last time you see me. You're gonna get married, and uh, the spouses apparently take care of the feeding chore. And also the um, the watering tasks as well, which would be super nice. And that's why we're getting married, right, Punchwood? <laughs> no, 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 just kidding. But that certainly will take some of the burden off uh, Punchwood here, so that'll be very welcome. Hold steady. Grab that milk. Thank you, Franny. All right, ladies, come on. Come on outside. It's a beautiful spring day. I don't know what they have against fresh air, but they don't come outside right away. <laughs> oh, here they go. Hi. Come on. Come on out. Hey, get back here. Chicken. <laughs> I just called the cow a chicken. All right. It is 940 in the morning. Oh, gosh. I'm all discombobulated here. Punchwood's all discombobulated. He doesn't know which way is up. So nervous. I mean, this is a big day. He's proposing. That's just not something you do every day, right? So, of course, you're going to be a little nervous. And we're not even sure if she's going to say yes. <laughs> That's the scariest part. She does have ten hearts. I think she's going to say yes. She likes Punchwood a lot. Punchwood likes her. They are kindred spirits, after all. They both like the outdoors. They like to forage. Uh, they like to eat wild things. Right? So I think I think it's gonna be okay, but we gotta clear this path out because if she does say yes and they get married, she's gonna be coming up this way to move in, and we don't want her to see this place like this. I wish we had some flowers. We could plant some flowers over here, maybe get the path in and everything, but no time for that. Punchwood's tired of being alone. He needs a he needs a soul mate. So let's get down there. 
First stop, Shane, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we might be able to catch Leah at her pond right here. Sometimes she goes here in the afternoon, and that's where we had our first date with her. We gave her the horseradish, right? So she'll probably be there at some point today. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, she's here. She's right there with a picnic table. <laughs> oh, look at this. What a quinkadink. Hi, Punchwood. I knew you'd be passing through here today. How did she know? So I put together a surprise. Oh, wow. This is for me? It's a little picnic for us. I mean, for us, right. Oh, great. I was on my way down here. This is a vegetable medley with my special spice blend. Ooh, smells delicious. And this is a fresh salad made from greens that I foraged right here in the forest. <gasps> See what I tell you? We like to forage things. Oh, I love forage greens. Look at her face. She's blushing. Punchwood? Um, uh-oh. Here he comes. Here he comes. Go on. Just say it. I just want to say thank you for helping me get one step closer to becoming a real artist. Oh, you are a real artist. Whoa, 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 hold on. Close your eyes. Ooh, what's this? Distant voice. Well, 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 what have we here? Who the heck? Who's this guy? Hey, dude, you know that three is a crowd, right? This is a private party. Kel? <laughs> Look at her face. She's a little surprised to see him. I think this is her ex-husband. I thought Kent was her ex-husband, but that's not right. This guy is. What the heck are you doing here? Oh, she is mad. You're going to get some now, boy. Kel, didn't you see me at the art show? I came all the way from Zuzu City to see your sculptures. Yeah, I noticed that people had mentioned in the comments that he was at that art show. I didn't see him there. He must have been hiding in a bush or something. Oh, don't you get any closer to her, pal. I will fly over this table and take you down. And to get you to come back with me. I want things to go back the way they were. I miss you, babe. <laughs> babe? Leah, just smack that fool. Yuck, don't call me that. You never supported my art before. Now that I've had some success, you want me back? You make me sick. Wow. She does not like him. Hey, come here. What, dude? You do not talk to her. I'm going to smack you. I can punch him in the face. <laughs> so I can try reasoning with him. Oh, I want to hit him so badly, but I don't think Leah would like that much at all. So, let me let me just try talking to this fool, and depending on what his reaction is, then I'll, I'll go all savage mode on him. Let's see. Let's try reasoning first. I have nothing to say to you. Get out of my way. Oh, that's it. Now I'm going to punch him. Hey! <laughs> Seriously, Leah, what are you doing out here with this simple-minded bumpkin? You know what? Leah can handle this. I guarantee you she's going to handle this. Watch this. Oh! <laughs> Punchwood's a better man than you in every respect. Now get out of here and never come back. Wow. I was going to do that, Leah. Let's go, Punchwood. I don't think Kel will be bothering us anymore. <laughs> you knocked him out, girl. High five. Oh, that was classic. Let's find a more secluded spot this time. She's still blushing. Yes, yes, secluded. Oh, that was great. He deserved that so much. I'm glad she did that, too. I have a feeling if I had punched him, she would have been upset about that. Uh, but, yeah, the, the result's the same. I don't think he's coming back. Let's go give Shane this hot pepper. Oh, hi, guys. Louie, what you doing? I'm just here to make sure all Marty's business needs are met. <laughs> right, wink, wink. Uh, business needs, right. I'm just here to make sure all Marty's... Yeah, yeah, you said that. You don't have to repeat yourself. I heard you the first time. <laughs> he's trying to convince me. Hi, Marty. You can use a scythe to cut feed from grass. Oh, yeah, I know. I do it all the time. That's how I get my uh, my feed in the silo. Or you can buy it from me, of course. Uh, I'll just cut it for free, but thanks anyway. <laughs> I could use the cash. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to buy a chicken as soon as I know how to get a blue one from your uh, your nephew, Shane. Adios. Uh, okay, then. I guess I'll be leaving now. I don't see Shane here right now. So maybe he's at work. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys later. I think uh, I think Shane is probably at work. All right, let's go over to the pot. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, she's going down here. Uh, I think she spotted us. All right. I think she spotted <laughs> Hi, Leah. Hi. Oh, man, you got a left hook. Whew. Remind me not to call you babe and mess with you. That was great. You know, I was about to do that, too. I'm glad you did it first, though, because I probably would have sent her to the hospital. But uh, anyway, uh, that was a great picnic. Thanks so much. Well, the picnic didn't pan out like I wanted it to. Oh, no, it was fantastic. Thank you so much. And uh, I got something for you. You look radishing. 
This is a really nice gift. Thank you. Remember the first date we had, right? I thought it was at the pond, though. Uh, anyway. Um, one more thing I have for you. This mermaid's pendant. Um, Leah, will you ma marry me? Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> she looks a little shocked. I accept. Woohoo! <laughs> I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days, okay? Yeah, yeah, three days. Great! Oh, I'm so happy! You made me the happiest level 18 farm boy in all of Stardew Valley! <laughs> cricket, cricket! Uh, never mind. Inside joke. Alright, I better go now. I'm a little nervous, but happy. Oh, yeah, no, me too. Me too. Alright, I, I got I got lots of planning to do and cleaning. Uh, Alright, uh, three days time, okay? Don't be a stranger. I'll see you before then, probably. But uh, I gotta catch up with Shane. Bye! Wow! That's it! We did it! Punch was gonna get married. Oh, this is fantastic. As long as Kel stays out of the picture. Oh, yeah. All right, well, it's two o'clock. Oh, hey! Kent! Hi, Kent! You've been here a while now, haven't you? Your farm must be thriving. Oh, it sure is. Hey, Kent, you should come by sometime and I'll show you around. I'd like to get to know you. You're right. Bye, Kent. Yeah, I thought Kent was, um, was Leah's ex, but nope. Oh, hi, Evelyn. How's it going? Guess what? I'm gonna get married. Oh, wait. Shh, keep that a secret, okay? I saw the most beautiful family of butterflies sunning themselves in the town garden yesterday. Right, right, yeah, she doesn't know what's going on. So anyway, here, have a daffodil. Oh, nice, thank you, dear. Anytime. Yeah, I, th I don't think I want to let everyone know that we're getting married yet because Leah's probably going to want to keep it under wraps until she's ready to let everybody know. Help wanted from Willie. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. I'll pay 200 gold to any fisherman who catches two largemouth bass. Right, $200. And I think we had another job here. Oh, gathering. We have to collect 40 ore. 40 ore for Clint? In one day? That's like impossible. I mean, not impossible, but that's, that'll take a whole day. Um, what else do we have to do today, though? We could go fishing for the largemouth bass. And maybe try to collect 40 ore. 40 ore is a lot. But what else we got to do? We got three days before we get married. <laughs> uh, sure. All right, let's go do it. Let's go try to collect 40 ore in, the, well, we got the quarry and the mines, actually. And we can try to get a large mouth bass. Oh, there's uh, Maru. I kind of feel badly for all the other girls. Oh, hey, Demetrius. I, I'd stop in and say, hey, but I gotta go. Oh, leaks, grab the leak. Grab the leak. Yeah, we don't have time to stop and talk. Um, let's fish right here for the large mouth and then we'll see if we can collect the, uh, the ores. Oh, there's bubbles over there. Bubbles. Oh, dang it. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let's go over here. Can we can we get to the bubbles? Yo, fishing tackle is worn out. That's all right. I don't need the fishing tackle. Oh, dang it. It's gone. I don't need fishing tackle. I'm a professional fisherman anyway. Largemouth bass shouldn't be too difficult. Look at this guy. He's not even budging. So largemouth bass are caught in these big lakes and ponds. That's a carp. I don't want a carp. They like deep, cool waters. Largemouth bass do. Oh, that was going to be a perfect. This could be a largemouth bass. Whoa. Could be. It's Chubb. Dang it. And a cup. You know what? Forget it. Two largemouth bass for 200 gold is not worth it. This is a waste of time. Let's go get the ore. We can go to the quarry first from here, right? Let's check the quarry. I don't see. Oh, there's some. There's some. There's some. So we have to collect 40 copper. Oh, missed. There's two. Oh, gosh. This is going to take forever. We're up to five. This is iron, right? Oh, my. All right. Let's get back to the mines. Let's go to, like, level 10? I don't know. Where's all the copper at? Oh, here we, here we go. Here we go. Copper. Four copper. Two more. This could be it. Two more. Hit it, hit it, hit it. We did it. We did it. All right, let's get out of here. Leave the mines. Let me just double check. Make sure I got all 40. Talk to Clint. I guess we we don't have to go to the shop. We can talk to him anywhere, right? He's usually at the bar. Oh, wait. Don't leave. What's the fastest way to town? I, I don't know if uh, taking Bud's the fastest way, but that's where we're going to go. Oh, we got to catch Clint before he leaves. I don't know what time he leaves the saloon. Hopefully, he's still there. Oh, Bud can't go that way. Dang it. Come on, bud. Faster. Faster! It's 1120! 
I don't know what time Clint leaves the saloon. Hopefully he's still here. I think today is the last day for this. Oh, Clint, you're here! Ah, oh, buddy, I got the oars! You brought the oars I requested. Excellent! Yes, I did. I like to inspect local ores from time to time to keep track of quality and abundance. Well, that's very responsible of you. Let me just take a look at these. Hmm, I see. Thank you. You can keep these ores. They're of decent quality. And here's your payment, as promised. Wow. All right, that was easy. 400 gold, and I get to keep the ore. Thanks! Oh, hi, Punchwood. Sorry if I look a little messy. I've been working at the furnace all morning. Yeah, we'll take a load off. Have a, have a brewski. So, did you need anything, or did you just want to visit? Uh, no, we're, we're good here. Oh, actually, have you seen Shane? Shane's not here. He's usually here, too. And Leah's not here. Too late for her. She's too busy preparing for the wedding anyway. <laughs> she better not be at the bar. All right, 11.50. I think I'm going to head home. I'm going to cruise by Leah's just to make sure everything's okay. I don't trust this Kel guy. Uh, oh, there's Shane. Shane! Hey, buddy. Wait, whoa, whoa. Stop. <sighs> Every day is the same. Stocking those horrible shelves. Going to the saloon. Tossing and turning all night. Well, maybe this will make you feel better. Nice red hot chili pepper. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, never mind. Sorry, I tried, Shane. He doesn't want it. Not, not this week. We're going to give him two gifts. It's locked. <gasps> Uh-oh. Leah? You okay in there? Uh, I should probably respect her privacy. She's probably fine. Yeah, she's probably fine. I don't want to get paranoid here. I'm sure Kel got the message when she knocked him out. So I'm just going to go home and go to bed and just assume that she's in there all by herself, tucked into bed, safe and sound. <laughs> I hope so anyway. All right, bud, you stay here, and I got some... Oh, stay. I got a little selling to do. We're going to do this before closing time. Oh, no, the chickens and the... I forgot the gate. Hopefully they're not too mad at me. I don't like when they leave the gates open at night. Because they get scared. Oh, oh, look, the honey's up. Honey is up. Honey is up. That's great. I'll throw the cheese in there, too. Whoop. Okay, I think we can still make it. Yeah, we're going to have to sleep on the floor tonight. Hi, Wilson. She said yes, buddy. She said yes. <laughs> All right, let's go to sleep for the night. See how we did today. Oh, we leveled up our combat. Level 7 combat plus 5 hit points and a new crafting recipe. Ring of Yoba. What's the Ring of Yoba? We'll check it out tomorrow. Here endeth the day, day 3th of springeth year 2th. 1,211 gold for the day. Better than nothing. And not including the 400 that we made from Clint, of course, right? So that's nice. And that's it. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Wedding coming up soon. Bye-bye.